In this video, I want to talk about add-ons for WP eCommerce. These literally are WordPress plugins for a WordPress plugin. So they add extra functionality or change some of the functionality that's in WP eCommerce. There's both free and paid ones. I'm not going to pay much attention to the paid ones because I want to look at what you can add for free here. By going to, and all you have to do is find your plugins, add new. I recommend going here to look for them. You can also go to the getshop.org website for WP eCommerce. And under add-ons here, you'll see community plugins. That's where I am right now. And there's a list of them here. Now, there's a few that are here and not in the repository at wordpress.org. But mostly they're over here. So I would look here first. There are plenty that are here that aren't over at getshop.org. There's many more, as a matter of fact. So let's do WP eCommerce. There's a couple ways to search for these, but let's start with WP eCommerce. And there, of course, is the plugin itself. Now, what we want to look at is some of what's available. And there's a lot. Now, this is a very interesting one from a relatively new company, A3 Revolution Software. What this one does is it provides you grid view. Remember in our catalog, we're just seeing them one right under another, and it'd be nice to see them in columns and rows, right? More typical of a shopping cart. For WP eCommerce all along, that's been a paid plugin that you had to upgrade to. This provides you grid view, a limited grid view, but still a grid view for free. We're gonna look at this in more detail when we get to the look of WP eCommerce. Then there's Dynamic Gallery, makes the galleries of images for products more interesting with pop-ups and so forth. There's a lot here, ones for Facebook, comparing products, for example. Simple product options, now this is an interesting one. We've looked at variations, and variations can be a little bit complicated to use in WP eCommerce, as they are in most plugins. This one has an idea of using simple product options. So let's go and install it right now and see what it does. So we go install here and we're going to activate it. And what happens in this case is we've got product options now on our sidebar here as opposed to variations. And you add in, let's say, a color. So again, it works very much like the categories in WordPress, right? And this is how our variations worked. These are options just to distinguish them. So now I'm going to say color is red. Okay. And then we make the parent color here. Add new product option. And let's just put in blue here. We'll do blue parent is color. All right, so now we've got a couple of product options. Notice it's blue color too, because I already have blue under my variations. But in this case, we're just using what's called product options. Now I go to add new, and you're going to see there's a different box down here. Let's keep scrolling. Where do we put it? There it is. It adds it at the very bottom, product options. And this is where I can select colors and so forth. And let's just make sure this is going to show up for us. So I choose color. Let's say we've got blue and red. And I'm going to publish this new product. So let's give it an image first. I'm just going to add this in here. This is always good to see here. I'm just going to add in a flowers with turquoise blue outer ring. All right. And remember, we choose use as product thumbnail. And I then close this off once it's done. I'm just going to call this Summer Breeze. I should have gone into the plate naming business, shouldn't I? Okay. Beautiful Summer Plate. Okay. And there we've got that. We're going to add in, it's under plates here, and we're going to give it a price of $16. Okay, so we're ready to publish our new product. And now it's got options on it, remember? So let's see how it's going to show us our options on here. There's our summer breeze. And it just comes up as color red and blue. But it doesn't change anything with pricing. We can't do anything pricing-wise. And that's going to be handy for a lot of situations where you literally don't have shipping variations. You don't have anything like that. 
Plus, it also doesn't multiply extra products. Remember, variations in WP e-commerce are handled like extra products. They're child products. You don't have that with the simple options. Okay? Now, you've just got to make sure you don't confuse variations and options. Okay, it's not going to show on there right now because I hadn't refreshed the page. You can't confuse variations with your options. So, you know, typically you probably want to make sure you stick with one or the other. Maybe for certain products you use options, for others you use variations. Anyway, I found that to be a really handy sort of plugin. There's another really interesting plugin here. Let's go back to add new. Now, another way to search for this is use WPEC. That's another way to do it. And that will sometimes find ones that the other one didn't find as easily. See WPEC, the short form that people use for it. Okay, so that's one way to do it. I'm going to go back to WP e-commerce because I want to show you this one called Smart Manager, which is quite handy. So there's a lot. There's one in here, by the way, that will do featured products. It'll create a widget for featured products, which we saw isn't built into WP e-commerce. And it'll take it over to the sidebar for you so you can show your featured products. So there's many, many. I mean, you can see here, it's been around a long time. Plus, also, there's not as many features out of the box with WP e-commerce in certain respects that are filled by these additions, these other plugins. Uh, let's just find here, I think it was on page two here. Where did we go? It's the smart manager. You know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to do, I'll just look up smart manager. There it is, smart manager for e-commerce. There we go. So I install this. Now what this does, if you have a lot of products and a lot of customers, this can be really powerful. So I activate the plugin. Here it comes. All right. So I go to my dashboard now. Pardon me. No, it wasn't under dashboard. I had a little trouble finding this last time. Under products. It goes under smart manager. Although it isn't just for products. This will actually do customers as well. All right. There is a pro version with more features, but this is pretty good out of the box. Now, I don't have many products, but you can see if you had a lot of products, it would be very, very handy to quickly manage things all from one place. Plus, you can manage your customers and you can manage your orders. You'll see with customers, it took a little while to fill it there. So there's some features only available on the pro version, but as I say, this works pretty well. And one of the things I like is you can edit your products right from here. It has a pop-up window, which is unusually small, although you can extend it. But what it does is it gives you your product all in one row here. So it's pretty handy to be editing a large number of products or customers all from one place. That one's called Smart Manager. There's a light version that is free. So that gives you an idea of some of the free plugins that are available to add functionality to WP e-commerce.